Okay guys, so we have now moved into the truck because the wind is whipping like an absolute monster out there and I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying without having to fight the vicious wind. So today we're going to be looking at the Mora Bushcraft Black versus the Topps Fieldcraft. Hey guys, this is Matt from the future just reminding you that if you want to see more Alaskan gun, EDC, survival, and bushcraft content make sure that you hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell and of course leave a comment and a like while you're at it and this was a pretty interesting test i thought i would break down because you know the tops bushcraft black in my opinion you know not everyone sees it equally but i think that this is a pretty great knife and honestly it pretty reliably ends up in my carry when i'm out bushcrafting and certainly no uh, replacement to my legendary Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, but it is a pretty good blade and it has a lot of similarities to the Topps Fieldcraft. So I thought I would, you know, compare these two. And while the price differential is, you know, pretty, pretty there, you know, the Topps Fieldcraft is about $100 to $120, whereas the, you know, Bushcraft Black is about $40 to $60. So, you know, you're paying about double for the Topps Fieldcraft, but is it really worth it? And that's a good question because in this particular test, I will say the Bushcraft Black did an absolutely superb job at just about everything. Of course, you know, the Topps Fieldcraft is going to perform better at batoning because it's a thicker, longer blade, and so it definitely did better at batoning, but really everything else was pretty much on the Bushcraft Black. And I think the Bushcraft Black definitely, you know, uh, did much better because it kind of goes back to the overall thickness of the blade, especially when you're talking about Scandinavian ground knives. You know, how thick your blade is really makes a difference to how well things like, um, things like feather sticking and carving will go because, once again, you're pushing less steel through cross grain or with grain, and that will really affect how your, uh, how successful you are in what you're doing. So the Bushcraft Black did an excellent job at feather sticking and because this is a modified Scandi grind on my Fieldcraft, it definitely did a okay job. It was not bad. It just wasn't as good as the Bushcraft Black and there was no comparison when it came to uh, carving the Bushcraft Black being a smaller blade and of course, you know, being full Scandinavian, just absolutely blazed through wood without any problem. And it just did a great job. Whereas the Veilcraft, once again, is not a bad knife at carving. It actually does better than most, but it just didn't quite hold up. In addition, you know, uh, comparing these knives for winter, the Mora Bushcraft Black will strike ferro rods. It's a sharpened spine, so it will do very good. Whereas the Topps Fieldcraft will not be able to strike ferro rods off the spine and the grippy overmolded rubber makes a really big difference. I feel like it, I had a very firm and confident grip on this blade. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the fact when it comes down to winter time that you know it has all these different like finger grooves and finger you know choils and stuff. It's, it's not great when you're holding the blade with a large winter glove and the field craft definitely is more homogenous in that way you know there's no weird finger grooves or anything like that but at the same time that over molded rubber gives you a really positive and a really neutral feeling grip so you don't feel the cold very much through this handle and uh, once again it's very tacky very grippy and you're not going to lose traction of it at all so for this particular uh, comparison as much as it hurts me to say because I do love my field craft a lot it is one of my favorite knives but I do think that the Bushcraft Black was the winner especially when you compare it to the fact that you know it's a anywhere from you know 35 to 60 dollar knife you know we're talking cold steel SRK money you know it's very cheap but it just performs very very well it did a bang up job for the price point and once again that kind of cements the reason why I do end up with this blade you know on me when I carry it so much you know it really is a good knife and not to mention it's also pretty darn lightweight whereas you know, the Fieldcraft is definitely thicker heavier more robust so anyways guys that is my comparison of the Topps Fieldcraft and the Mora Bushcraft Black hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and as always God bless and I'm out